Dr Caution, thanks very much for your time. Why does the AMA believe that a COVID vaccine could still be a year away? The federal government seemed a bit more optimistic about the time frame. Look, it's really important that uh, we are realistic about the time it takes to get a vaccination through all of the many production issues, the testing issues, to, so that we can say to the Australian population, it is safe, it is effective, and it's available for you. Now, the reality is that's going to take many, many more months, and we think we wouldn't be surprised if it's even not next year. And therefore, it's critical that all our uh, policy decisions, all our uh, preparations are for what happens if the vaccine doesn't happen or if it's delayed, rather than uh, hoping that we perhaps get a vaccine early next year. So what do you think then life in Australia would look like if we um, accepted those parameters? Well, the reason we think it's worth preparing for that is that we just don't know. And because we don't know, why not plan for the worst case scenario and get our society ready for either living with COVID or at least living with the risk of COVID? And that means locking in a certain level of restrictions that all our states and territories agree on. It means preparing our health system, our aged care system properly. And we've seen already that, that it is not yet properly prepared. And it means getting our contact tracing appropriate, getting our levels of community testing uh, high enough that once an outbreak happens, we're very quickly able to respond, get that whole mechanism in place to protect Australians. And that then means we can start to open borders and think about what does life look like without a COVID vaccine. What kind of restrictions are you thinking need to be sort of semi-permanently in place? We think that the level of restrictions is going to be somewhere between what's happening in Western Australia, where there's pretty much no restrictions, uh, and what's happening around the rest of the country. The reality is the only way to stop this virus spreading quickly through the community is to keep people apart. And that means certain measures are going to need to be in place, like restrictions on the number of people in restaurants and pubs and clubs, uh, like mechanisms in place so that we can track people when they're in those places, uh, and the ability for governments to ask the population to wear a mask, if that's what needs to be done to protect that population. If we've got that stuff in place, then you know that if an outbreak happens, it'll be quickly dealt with rather than exploding through the population before the government's ready to deal with it. Dr Caution, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Lee. Cheers. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.